So the Minnesota Vikings select DJ Wadham with the 117th pick in the fourth round in the draft. Six foot five, 260 pound outside linebacker from University of South Carolina. He's primarily a 3 4 outside linebacker rush guy, although that he will drop just like any 3 4 outside linebacker. You have to drop in coverage sometimes to the flat, to the middle of the field, whole area. You have to be comfortable out of a two-point stance. You have to be comfortable in a three-point stance as well. But interesting selection by the Vikings because uh, you wouldn't think of him as a true 4-3 defensive end. So it's going to be interesting to see how they mold Wanham and what he can do. Now, a lot of people after the draft said, hey, great pick. You know, he's he's a value pick. He's He is a little bit raw. Everybody likes to use the term raw. And I would agree with that. I think he's still, he's still pretty raw as a pass rusher. Doesn't have a plethora of moves. But his physique and he's built a lot like Daniil Hunter. And obviously, the success of Hunter has a, has a high ceiling on Wanham, so to speak. So this first play against Alabama, I want to show you just the, the innate skill set that he has, I believe, with his handwork, his heavy-handedness, and his length. So you'll see him on the right side wearing jersey number eight. As the play develops, it's play action play. All right, we see, we see the play action. That's why there's a hesitation. Why didn't he get off the football with a quick step? Well, it's because he saw play action right away. So he's a little bit delayed. But this is the part that I like. Now, I'll let the play go out to its entirety. He doesn't make the play. He doesn't get the Tua. That's, that's fine. But what I want to show is, watch the left hand and how heavy it is. See that initial punch? The initial punch rocks back the left tackle, rocks his shoulders back. And then again, some of the subtle, innate things that he does. Left hand, heavy punch. Right hand at the same time. Now watch his right hand. Very sneaky. Going to grab that left that left wrist of the left tackle and just get it off his body. He's, he's really good, especially coming off the right side, of punching, getting the separation, and using that right hand to sort of free himself from the punch of the left tackle. So I just love the hesitation. Uh, they're off of the hesitation. The, the heavy hands, the extension, the separation, and that quick handwork with his right hand to at least try to get to the quarterback and try to alter that play. Play number two is yet another example of Wanham's hand usage. You know, not quite the, the great punch, but again, you're going to see another display of his right hand and how he just instinctively is able to swat off the left hand of the offensive tack. Now, this particular play... He's in a three-point stance. Now, as a disclaimer, I will say I think he's way better coming out of a three-point stance. Much more explosive. He gets up the field quicker. He's much more decisive. He just seems more natural out of a three-point versus a two-point. Now, this is against Andrew Thomas, the left tackle for Georgia, who went fourth overall to the Giants. So, great matchup here. So, ball snapped, and you can already see right away the get-off. He is up the field much quicker, much more decisive. The left hand is not quite as, as explosive on the punch, but here's the right hand. Watch the right hand from Wanham. You see that, that chop right at the wrist of Thomas? And look at the body angle that puts Thomas in. Shoulders above the toes. He's got one foot off the ground. He's off balance. Any pass rusher should win this battle. And basically, Wanham does. He just doesn't clear Andrew Thomas cleanly. So... He gets a little wonky with his footwork. I'd love to see him get that right hip turn more square, more quickly and under balance. So yeah, he doesn't affect this play per se. He doesn't get a hit on the quarterback. There's nothing that shows up in the stat book. But when you're watching just his, his technique and just what he can do instinctively as a pass rusher, I think it's on full display there against Andrew Thomas. Play number three, let's bounce over to the Kentucky game in which Wanham pretty much kicked ass. He was pretty good in this game. Uh, nice little stat line. And this particular play, you can see why. He's going to get chipped by the tight end right there. They're going to kind of chip each other. Tight end's responsible for just slowing him up because he's having a good game. So he doesn't get the get off that he likes. But nevertheless, again, good strong left hand. And again, there's the right hand again right there. There, good swat with the right hand. Now this time, as opposed to going against Andrew Thomas, he's able to turn this corner. Why? Because he can use his left arm to kind of post in to the left tackle and just sort of use his own energy and leverage 
to kind of get around that corner and make it much tighter. Now, you have to give credit to this guy over here. Watch the cursor. I don't know if it's 15 or 16, but it's his bull rush that gets the quarterback off his spot, which makes him deep enough and not step up in the pocket, which allows Wanham to get around the corner and get the sack. But again, there's three plays in a row where it just shows his, his right hand off that right side of the defense is pretty lethal. Let's go back to the Georgia game, and this time he's going to line up on the left side going against Isaiah Wilson this time, who was the 29th pick to the Titans. Golly, man, Georgia has some beasts on the offense line. Anyway, uh, as you can see, again, he's in a three-point stance. Once again, much better coming out of a three-point stance, and you'll see why. See the get-off? Look at the get-off. It's so much more clean. It just looks effortless. Two-point stance, uh, not so much. Three-point stance looks pretty good. All right, the other thing I like about this play, uh, look at his body angle. He's six foot five, but yet look at the knee bend. Look how low his hips are. Look at where he punches upwards on Isaiah Wilson and gets him on skates. Now that is a beautiful body angle there. Good power with his knees and his hips to push Isaiah Wilson all the way back. Now, is this a crazy good pass rushing move as far as creativity and flexibility and blah, blah, blah? No, but everybody needs a power rush. If you set up a power rush early in the game, a lot of times you can, you can show off finesse and creativity later on. Uh, this is awesome. I just love the power that he generates. I like how natural it looks. I like how strong his hands are, the punch, the extension, the push. And again, doesn't make the play, but yet he's the one that causes this interception to get the quarterback outside the pocket and hurry the throw. Last and final play for DJ Wanham. We're going to go back to the Kentucky game. Remember, I told you he had a pretty good game against Kentucky. So here's another example of that great game against Kentucky. This time he's on the left side, again, out of a three-point stance. Most of his best plays that I found, again, are out of a three-point stance. So again, great get off. Tremendous get off. Again, strong hands, great punch, not on the outside. His punch is on the inside. A little high, but there's a lot to unpack here, okay? So he's going to do a push-pull technique. So he pushes. It's a really quick thing. He's going to push with his hands and then pull. You see how his right shoulder sort of gives way? Because he's pulling with that left hand. He's pulling away. He's going to still extend with that left arm because you want to keep that arm attached. Like you want to clamp down with your grip strength, grab onto that tackle just so you keep that spacing. And then you see what he's going to do? He gives up his right shoulder. It goes soft so he can bring that right arm underneath and he's going to get right on the outside of that arm on a nice rip move. Then he can let go with his left hand and get his hip square and get to the quarterback. Tremendous finish. So again, a lot to like out of DJ Wanham out of South Carolina. Again, I do think he's a little bit raw. I do think that he's he has some flexibility issues. He's much better with his hand on the ground as opposed to a point two-point stance. But again, Andre Patterson with the Vikings is, is just one of the best defensive line coaches in all of football, and he's going to get this guy right. So there you have it, DJ Wanham, the 117th pick in the fourth round of the Minnesota Vikings. And in the immortal words of Notorious B.I.G., if you don't know, now you know.